Hi, it's Lisa Spencer with Your Market Minute, and today we're just going to talk a little bit about our market. If we go back to January of 2006, we see that uh, our average sale price was $2.56. Well, wouldn't we love those days to come back again? Then in 07, went up to $2.59, and then down to $2.46, and then of course 2008 happened and our inventory, our sales price went down nearly $100,000 in just one year. And then between 2009 and 2010, we really had a modest drop of 154, uh, to 154000 as the average sale price, which meant that was only a drop of $6,000 as opposed to $100,000 the year before. And then we had another drop between 2010 and 2011, and that's when these foreclosures started hitting the market. And we saw that the bottom uh, on the low sale price of 2011 in uh, January of 2011 was 134. We ended the year in 2011 at 159, which is more than a $20,000 increase in our average sale price. It could be that we're looking at the low in the rearview mirror. Now, let's talk about why this happens. In 2006, our inventory was 9,556 homes on the market, and then our inventory drastically increased in 2007. It's like someone turned the spigot off and the buyers stopped buying, but the builders didn't stop building and people didn't stop listing their homes. So we had a dramatic increase to 18,000. Our inventory doubled at a time when our sale price only went up $3,000. And then look, the inventory increased again in 2008. And then when we hit into 2009, our inventory started decreasing because now people couldn't get this sale price anymore. They were dealing with this $160,000 sale price. So if they didn't have a hardship that they can do a short sale or they didn't have a reason to move, then they just sat in their home. So uh, we didn't have that movement. And then between 2009 and 2010, we see the inventory has shrunk to 15,861, and then it went up slightly when all those REOs hit the market. And then look where we ended the year for 2011. We're back down to 9,857 homes on the market. Now this is a frightening low inventory. And if you think that, um, that a lot of these are going to change, just what's happening currently in the market, 66% of the homes on the market now are regular resale homes or new construction. Only 28% are short sales and only 6% are real estate owned. Now we do have some rumors that the banks are going to be unleashing some houses on the market. I will tell you, if you see some REOs hitting the market now, grab them because this market is changing and we may be looking at low prices in the rearview mirror. Happy selling and happy house hunting. Thank you.